एवरीवन वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम मधु मिश्रा आई एम अ रिसर्चर इन थियोरिटिकल फिजिक्स आई बेसिकली वर्क ऑन ब्लैक होल एंड सुपर ग्रेविटी एंड स्ट्रिंग थ्योरी ऑल दोज काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स सो इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चंस रिगार्डिंग दैट प्लीज राइट इट डाउन इन द कमेंट सेक्शन बिलो और यू कैन डी एम मी ऑन माई इंस्टाग्राम माई इंस्टाग्राम हैंडल इज आई अंडर स्कोर मधु फाइव थैंक यू सो मच फॉर सब्सक्राइबिंग टू माई चैनल एंड वी आर नाउ फैमिली ऑफ थाउजेंड थाउजेंड पीपल so i started this youtube channel to share my life phd life because trust me it gets lonely if you are a theoretical researcher and you work you mostly be working alone so it gets really really um uh, isolated and also i was going through this covid phase where you were not allowed to meet people uh, group meetings were happening online and since we were theoretical physicists we were uh, there was no way we could go to lab because we were strictly asked to work from home or work from room so there were no connection and i got really uh, you know lonely so i started this channel where i can sit down and share my journey and it went really well you guys really liked the channel and you started subscribing you asked it started asking questions initially i just asked my friends and my family to subscribe to the channel but when i thought when i saw that lot of people are joining like thousand is not much but uh, in other uh, perspective but for a researcher the way i started the channel i had not uh, like i could not have imagined thousand subscriber this soon it is it has been 10 months and uh, few months i was not uh, i was not even posting because of my thesis submission and when i was out for other work i would not post any videos and still you guys stick on to this channel and you were asking lot of questions i got lot of comments encouraging comments lot of encouraging dms and so thank you so much and also lot of questions from 10th class student 12th class students people who are preparing for gem just so and i am really happy that i could help you in any way now that said and let's move on to this video today's video is about what icer lacks as a research institute and i am going to talk about icer treventum and being an integrated phd student i have spent my 7 years in icer treventum so trust me when i say i know it what it lacks because i have experienced it throughout my journey in many ways and also through my friends when you talk to bsm students group members you get to know that it's not just my problem it's problem which is faced by the community so i'm going to talk about those things which other icers have and it is not only icer trivedra which is lacking so and i am uh, i have been to icer pune and icer bhopal uh, so i'm just going to talk about these three icers and mostly icer trivedra so let's get into the video the first thing that icer trivedra lacks is a good library like if you are research institute what you would have what you would imagine that a research institute should have first thing should be a great library but icer treventum has just has a functional library and if you do not believe me please go and watch this video i am going to link that video in the description box below as well where i have given you the tour of icer treventum library so go check that out and compare it with in iit indore library and even icer bhopal library is so good icer pune library is also so good i've been to both those library and they are amazing like you can go and sit and work as long as you want but icer trivandrum library is really small and also so i'm going to cover three things of icer library first is the space second is the function and third will be the time So for space, it is very small. So there is a small room. It's even smaller than a classroom. Uh, there are few chairs where you can go and sit and take library books and read. And there is even a smaller room. It's like a hall, you know, like normal one BHK house. Just like smaller room where you are allowed to take your computers. So if you want to work with your computers, you are not allowed to use like rooms which has books. so that is another dysfunctional thing that i find in that library that i faced in the library so because i want to work with my laptop most of the time so i were not allowed to use the library 
so that is the problem and the problem another problem is the room which where you can go and use your laptop has only fans no ac so that is also a problem maybe they have installed an ac now but uh, it was not there till few months back that is one problem so you have very small sitting area second problem is with the timing so the library closes at 6 or 5:30 at max and only during exams it will stay open till 10 or 12 o'clock so what are you suggesting that students should only study during exams i don't understand and if if you not in the library where will we go and study For example, a PhD student has a room, has a sitting place, so we don't face that much problem. But a BSMS student who are sharing their room, like PhD student had single rooms also. So uh, after second year, you get a single room, so you can go study in your room or you can go study in the sitting place that has assigned to you. But what about BSMS student, which is the maximum, like the major percentage of ICER students, are BSMS students, and they don't have a place to go and st- study so most of the students study in mess which is not the correct way to like a research institute should have a great library a great sitting area which is not there in ice at trivandrum which it lacks major having said that third thing which ice at trivandrum is lacking in the library is the materials initially when i had joined ice they had lot of material online if uh, available so they had lot of subscription lot of general subscription and due to covid lot of uh, funding got reduced and now the subscription has reduced like in a big way so lot of journals you're not now you're not have the luxury to download papers from the journal that you were allowed to do that before so that is the third point that library is lacking second thing that icer is lacking is a uh, a common room so this i realized after coming to chennai uh, i am in cmi right now doing my postdoc so this thing i realized that icer doesn't have a common room and by common room i mean you should have a room where uh, their students and faculty can come together and talk and like discuss things about like research or anything they can, like it should be a conversation starter like uh, even the new phd's should meet the old phd's and vice versa and in isa there is no this culture is completely missing so even like i was not aware of lot of new phd student who have joined even in theory like a uh, like experimental is like even far like i would not know that these people is from phys- uh, these people are from physics but even theoretical physics i would not know that they have joined uh, they are phd in physics so th- and this is because we don't have a culture where you can come together and talk like so in uh, what happens in cmi is that there is a room it's called faculty lounge it is only open till 5 o'clock 5 or 5:30 uh, so and only at two times around 10:30 in the morning and 3 o'clock in the afternoon they put coffee tea biscuits and all sort of things and everyone like phd student and faculties can come and have it but because there is a time uh, all of them come together and i have seen people all the faculties coming together and discussing how they are going to uh curate the syllabus this time how they are going to approach the teaching this time and even sitting there is such a wonderful experience and there is a bookshelf there where they have kept lot of books so usually what i do i am just new there so usually what i do is i just go and grab a coffee and and one book and just sit there and uh, drink coffee and read the book and also hear a lot of conversation if my friends are not uh, around so in that way i like i've been just here for 3 weeks now and i know lot of faculties from maths and physics just because there is this timing there is this culture where all of them are coming together at particular time and having a discussion this thing is majorly missing in isa trivandrum and i think they sh- and it's it doesn't require much isa is way bigger campus than cmi and they can arrange a room they can arrange a coffee machine or something where It, at time if not coffee machine just arrange coffee and tea for a uh, in two times like in the morning and the evening so that all the phd student and all the faculties can come together have a discussion grab a coffee 
talk about some collaboration and everything. Now, when I'm talking about collaboration, the third thing that I said to Vendram is missing is larger group. There is no internal collaboration happening in ISER, which is a major, major, major failure in ISER. And a lot of ISER PhD students going to are going to suffer from this uh, problem because if you are in, for example, if you are in CMI or if you are in ISER Bhopal, ISER Bhopal in string theory has such a large group. There are two, there are three faculties from string theory inside ISER Bhopal, so they can collaborate with each other and they can collaborate with other students, even among the students. But in ISER Trivandrum, each subject has just one faculty, so. Like within even within the group collaboration is complete very difficult because only one faculty is managing all the students. And third thing, which another thing which is missing in ISA is a postdoc culture. There is no postdoc culture. Very few postdocs are there, and they are not given importance. Like here, when I came here in CMI, I was almost treated as a faculty. Uh, as a so they will even the guards will uh, greet me like I'm a faculty here with all the importance in ISA Trivandrum. Postdocs were treated even bad, uh, even worse than PhD students because they were just there for one month, one year or two years at max. So they were not given the importance. Postdocs are very important, and that culture is completely missing in ISS Random, which is causing a lot of problem and which is actually damaging the research culture in ISS Random for sure. Now uh, that is said for the research part. Another thing that ISER is lacking is a good football ground or a ground app. Like even a normal game, there is no ground. Even if you want to run in the ground, there is no ground. There is very small area which is like completely not not completed. It's just lot of sands and small small stones are there, so you can't run there. And if it rains, it will get muddy. So there is no way you can go and play there. And it's also ISER has like this hilly area, so all even if you want to go run from one place to another place, you're going to run on a concrete which is hilly. It's not good for your knees for in the long run. So you need a normal like flat ground to practice for running and playing football, cricket ground. There is no cricket ground. There is no football ground. So that is another major i think missing because a lot of bsms students even phd students are interested in playing sports and iser has a good indoor stadium though but not outdoor stadium outdoor stadium or outdoor ground so that is another missing uh, which a research institute with this amount of a uh, student should have and also one more thing which is not related to research it's my personal i don't know how many people feel that uh right down in the comment section if you think it is important kitchen in hostel area there is no kitchen in hostel area you're not allowed to cook you're not allowed to have induction but why like you are so from, far from city it's not like you can just go and eat anything and sometimes you don't want to eat in the mess so there should be a common kitchen or something and also a common fridge something like that it was there in iit indoor like five students will be were sharing one fridge which i found really helpful because you can go buy fruits and keep it there and in isa there is no like if you even if you leave your laptop for overnight it will not get stolen so it's very uh, secure place <coughs> isa is secure in that sense so a common fridge would be a great help to all the students or a common uh, study as i said study area is not there like even in hostel you should have a common study room or something some room like which i uh, saw in iit indore even in iser bhopal or is it was it pune one of the iser of one. i think it was iser pune only they had a common study room Iser Bhopal campuses are also so amazing. So those are the things I really found missing in Iser Trivandrum. And let me know what are your thoughts. What do you think a research institute should or should not have? And see you in my next video. Thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. It really encourages me to take out my time from the busy schedule and make a video. And also you can write uh, comment down any. 
new video any video suggestion that you think i should make i have got a lot of suggestions in my instagram which i will be making in uh, coming future and i have a lot of videos lined up which i have to shoot and but yeah see you in my next video till then bye bye